Hi, I'm Kay. Thank you so much for joining me for my big review for Milonga Deluxe by Ellen Villa in the colour Champagne Rooted. This wig was sent to me by Trenko Wigs in exchange for a review. And use my code K10 and you will get 10% off sidewide. So let's start with this beautiful, beautiful wig. When I took it out of the box, it was instant love instant it was i put it on i flipped the hair back and i'm like i love it absolutely love it and that doesn't happen that often that it you know that it happens straight after you do the flip because some t you know most of the time you have to do a little bit of at least brushing taking the zigzag parting out etc and then you love it but with this one, it was literally instant. I, I just was like, wow, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, there's a lot of reasons for it, which, first of all, I think it's a stunning color. Stunning. So let's look at this color. So you, it's rooted. And I would say it's like a medium to light brown. But look how well this is done. It's, it's just so natural. And then you have a mix of light ashy blondes and golden blondes and it's just really natural it's just a gorgeous color it's, it's just so beautiful and these are heat friendly fibers so there is no unnatural shine to them which i love so what you have is a layered longer piece so you have this front layer which frames the face beautifully, which I love. I love front layers. And then you just have just very light layers throughout. It's low density. There is no permatease. But it doesn't look too low. I think it's a very natural look. I think when you look from, it, from the sides, it just looks so natural. So let's look at Melanga Deluxe from all sides. It has a mono top and I think it's beautifully done. And the lace front, like most Ellen Villa lace fronts, is beautiful. So the knots are barely visible for a rooted colour. This is just amazing. I did plug this bit here. Simply because I quite like when I when I have the part to have an entryway <laughs> um, and to make it just a little bit less perfect. So that's the only thing really I did to it. And I did add water and hairspray to get it up off my face, which I prefer the look on me. I just like that look on me. But otherwise, and, and brushed it through. <laughs> but otherwise, that's it. That's all I've done. I think for me, it has, it's one of the top three favorite wigs ever that I've tried. And oh, it's beautiful. So let's look at the cap construction. We have a mono top. We have a non-extended lace front. We have velvet covered ear tabs and they are the softest <laughs> ear tabs I've ever felt. Um, and they have metal stays in them. You have a hand tight section at the top and sides here and then you have covered wefts at the back and you have an extended velvet nape with velcro adjusters and here you can see how far I have to have them apart it's the furthest setting <laughs> that's possible on this cap fit wise however now i have a 21.5 inch circumference that's roughly for some manufacturers that's average, for others it's petite average. So I always say I'm petite average. This fits me tight. Straight out of the box, I had to adjust it. 
um, and it's now on the furthest possible setting that it can be. So if you are 22 inch and above, you really might want to double check that with the retailer if that would fit. I have no gapping really at all. It's It sits lovely on me. So for a petite head, there's enough room to tighten it. So that would definitely fit. But for an average and, you know, for 22 and above, I, I would proceed with caution. Um, just simply because I have no gapping at the back, so there's no leeway. And as I said, it's on, it's on the furthest settings. So, but for those petite heads, there's your girl. <laughs> Let's look at styling options. A few styling options there for you. So as I said, the fibers are heat-friendly fibers. They are nice and soft. I have been wearing this now for a few days. Um, Tangling-wise, it's not too bad. It is a longer piece. It is heat-friendly, so it does tangle, but not as badly as other longer styles. It's probably because also of the density. It's you know, it's 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 low density. In my experience, they tend to tangle less. And I also wear my longer pieces like this. So all the hair is to the front. So then the nape tangling doesn't happen as badly because it's all in the front. That's just what I do to keep the fibers as healthy <laughs> as possible. And then after each wear, I do use a hot airbrush um, just quickly to go through to smooth them back out and then hang it up. Um, now let's look at some negative points. Um, she does shed a little bit. Um, so especially when she first comes out of the box, there's quite, with this one at least, there was quite a lot of shedding going on. Um, there's still now a little bit, but it has calmed down. I think personally that I would, for the price, I would have expected at least an extended lace front. Um, to have it only come to here, <laughs> it's that's just what I personally think. I think I would have expected. A slightly better cup construction um, and that everything is hand tied um, but that's just my personal opinion and um, and I thought I would share that with you just have a look at how beautiful this color looks in the natural light in the snow So I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you again to Trent Gorix for sending me this piece. Don't forget to use my code K10 where it gives you 10% off your purchase at their website. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and on YouTube if you haven't done so already and if you find these videos useful to you. Any questions, any comments, put them below. Have a lovely day and I hope I see you soon. Bye.